Hi guys, good morning, welcome back to the channel. That was us to delivering at West Country Motorhomes, WCM, in the back of the motorhome there. Now we're heading to Cardiff to drop this car off for a customer. Where we parked last night in that little like outside the garden centre, but they hire the place West Country Motorhomes hire that yard just for the sole purpose for us to offload. So it's okay for us to stop there. Anybody else gets chased, but yeah, spot on there. Why you nose dive into that wall? You park there and you get no hassle. The house so that the family's there. It's all camera up, it's quite as a mouse. Pitch black. What we like. So now we're just heading back to the M5, northbound on the M5, across the M4, over the Prince of Wales Bridge, in the Cardiff, what's that? Where 83 mile away. I thought it was closer than that to be fair, but I should still make it back up to the air to get tipped. Because we're heading to Portby Docks after that. Get three chassis cabs on to go back to the factory to get made into water homes and we should hopefully get back up. So a little update. A little update for you. So we're just coming across, well we're not yet, we're just climbing the bank, slip road here, onto the M, is this the M4? Yeah, we're heading on the M4. From the M49, across it in the wheels. This is the Prince of Wales Bridge. If you'd watched the previous video, I did a one just crossing the bridge when I first started doing the YouTube, but you know, and you couldn't see, and last time I came over here, you couldn't see nothing, you couldn't even see over there. We can kind of see the water. You can't see now, don't why you can't. You can see the other bridge over there. So, just phoned the customer. It, wait, well, the address says Cardiff. It's not, it's Bridge End. So, it's literally just off Junction 35 at Bridge End, near the Mercedes Benz dealership there, if anybody knows that. It's just round the back of there, a house, so I'll get pretty close, get the car off. And then come all the way back across into Portbury. I'm picking, if I was picking two vans up, two panel vans, I would have gotten them on the way past. And it would save us coming back along here. But I'm picking, um, like they're called chassis cabs. So they're just a Mercedes, right, a Citroen front end shipping cab with just the chassis and they build the motorhome on top of it i'm getting three of them and i can't and i can't get three of them on in a car literally only by about three inches because if, if i had a smaller because i've got a, an id4 an id4 on vw they're my new electric things but they just say a little bit bigger if i had like a cupra I would get, I'd be able to get the three vans and the car on, and it would save us coming back. But the ID fours were a little bit bigger, and I can't get the car where I need to get the car on the trailer to make it fit. So that's a shame. So we'll have to go back across the bridge. It's just a shame because it adds about half an hour to be day. And I originally thought this was like this drop is closer than what it is I'm still 38 mile away ah, it's not as far as I was thinking like so stood sh st should still makes me get me foot out of my mouth should still 
be able to get back across, get loaded, and then back up to concert tonight. There'll be a full 10 hour drive like, but we should make it, hopefully, with about half an hour to spare. But as long as I get to the factory, get the vans off, get reloaded, if I'm loading there, hopefully I'm not be spot on, and then I can get parked outside the factory and then get away in the morning but at least I'll be loaded and I don't have to wait till 8 o'clock in the morning I can get straight away early doors so that's the plan today to get back up there tonight um, and we'll do a little video of loading the chassis cabs if I can get a decent video because it, it's normally it's normally rammed in the docks with transporters loading and you pack that tightly close together if it's busy you pack literally door to door getting loaded so to get a good like view of the loading the camera's got to be away from the truck where you can't do it when there's people right next to you can't get the angle right anyway so we'll sort something out at the minute we've just come over the bridge we are now in wheels and we'll quickly get this off and get away get back get loaded and get up home let's go
Well, we've got that off. Delivered to the customer. It was just off, just off Junction 35, Bridge End on the M4. Near the Merc garage, just off the junction there. There's a, luckily there was a business park across the road I managed to get parked in. Get the car off, as you've seen. And then her house was literally behind the Merc garage. But this happened. It absolutely lashed it down. So I was trying to tell her how to start the car, how to move the car, how to put it into gear, how to where the charger lead was, how to charge it. Uh, yeah, got a bit soaked and wet like. But now we're heading back across the bridge. We're heading back across the Portbury. Oh God, that's a bumpy road. And get these three chassis cabs on to head back to concert. And I'm hoping I make it tonight. I'm on two hours, 10 minute drive. It's about six and a half hours from Portbury back to concert. Plus the extra halfway, what do I gotta do? Another 20 minutes? Another 20 minutes before I get to Portbury? So, yeah, it's gonna be a full nine hour drive. If not, it'll be going into a 10. Which isn't too bad, because if I go into a 10, I'll just head down to Newton Aircliff. Park there night. But, we don't know. See what happens later, with traffic, etc, etc. You never know. It's a long way to go. <laughs> and try and determine where you're going to park tonight. I haven't even got loaded yet. So, we will cruise along this Prince of Wales Bridge. There it is there. It's getting brighter. The rain's dying off a little bit. Down there where I'm loading, it looks bright and dry. So hopefully it's not raining when I'm down there. And we'll get loaded. Let me coffee. Let me coffee. Still got no fuel, according to the truck. I don't know if you saw the, if you saw if you saw the video yesterday. You'll know why. But yeah, still seeing not but no fuel. It's a bit weird, but I'm getting used to it. We are now in the docks. This is Portbury. This is where, where that's the electric car is getting charged up there. Um, all with the wrap on and the bonnets and that haven't been PDI'd, pre-delivery inspected. We've got an Amazon van, electric thing. And these are where the vans are parked. They're always along any of these lanes here. And it goes on for miles, like miles I'd say, flipping out the huge lanes like that's number 70 there, starts at 70 where that car is all the way along. It goes back down there at about 120 odd. Then it starts behind me at 200 and 201 there and goes all the way along the back of the, all the way along these lanes, all the way along there. It goes on for flipping miles. But normally the vans are pulled in here when we come in. They know that we're coming, blah, 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 but it's not, they're not ready. So. And it could be possibly up to four hours before I get my load. They know I'm here, so it kind of gives them a jog on that, that they know I'm waiting. But this is probably the first time I'm going to be stuck here for quite a while. Normally in, you're loaded and you're gone within 15 minutes. This is going to be quite a wait. So yeah, and it is now raining. It has decided to rain. There's two more of our lads parked over that way. Um just behind all them BCA trucks. There's another couple of hour lives over there. But like I say, it's not exactly pleasant weather to go and stand outside and have a bit chat. Um, 
So, at the minute, we're just waiting. Um, they've been here since 8 o'clock this morning, the other lads, so, and it's now 10 to 1. Um, I might have a bit of a wait today. This is going to put a bit of the bit of a knacker on trying to get back up to concert this afternoon. That's not going to happen, I don't think, anymore. Um, but yeah, we'll give you an update later. Um, but that's, what, that's, that's what's happened. I've pulled in here and the whole day has come to a stop. For now. So, we'll do some paperwork, I think. And watch the world go by. And Aye, that's it. So we'll keep you updated and hopefully it's not too dark when I start loading these vans. Right, well, that was an eventful afternoon. Not so. I've been waiting there in the docks for, oh God, it must be about four and a half, five hours now, like. It is now half, oh yeah, because it was one o'clock when, when I was the last time on. And I'd been there about half an hour then, so half one is now half four. And I've left probably with the same trailer as I left, I came, I went in with. <laughs> I've left Portbury with nothing. Went into Portbury for nothing at all. Because we need a load number and our office couldn't get a hold of a load number from the people that we're doing the work for so and they wouldn't answer the emails and they wouldn't answer the telephone and phone calls going left right and center between three different departments and ah so the whole job gone belly up so I went back into the office before we left just to say any chance and they're like no we need a load number yeah I know I thought that um, and they were saying yeah your office should have the load numbers now obviously it's not our office that need the load numbers it's the people that we're doing the work for i.e. elders um, they have the load numbers but they were, oh, I don't know what happened, but it was miscommunication somewhere. So I think they've got them now, but it's going to take another four hours, possibly four and a half hours from now to get the load pulled into the lane. So the, the gaffer just decided, you know what it is, forget it, forget it, come out. I'm going up to Evesham to load two motorhomes in the morning to go to Preston. And then I don't know after that. So that's tomorrow morning now. So I'm heading to Evesham. After being sat in there all day. But I think we've been building, we're building them waiting time while we're sat in there because there was three, like, three of us in there. And one were left for the load. One left for the load and two of us left for nothing. Nothing. So it's a bit of a complete mess this day, like it went completely belly up. Uh, but it's just so destroying, you're sitting there all, sitting there, you're having a coffee after coffee, back and forward to the toilet, back and forward to the office, on the phone, but, oh, umpteen times. you just get to the point where you can't be bothered to drive anymore you just you've been sat still so long you just like lose the will to live a little bit but anyway we'll get up to get up to uh Tewkesbury. i got to Tewkesbury, park in Tewkesbury. we'll park in there uh get round get round to uh auto sleeper it's called another motorhome builder in evesham We'll get round there in the morning. We'll get them loaded up to Preston. And then I don't know after that, probably. Maybe if, if all the work, because there's loads of vans to pick up out of there. So it'll probably be a case of run straight back down to Porpery, load three and take them up to the yard for Friday. And that'll probably be it for the week. 
and then Christmas. But I don't know, it's anyone's guess. So that was a fun afternoon. Oh. This day went from bad to worse. I'm on the A46 heading towards Evesham. Well, I'm only about four or five miles away from where I need to be to park off for the day. And I've, there's been an accident. And so, unfortunately, we've come to a grinding halt and I can't go anywhere. The cars are going down this side road here, but it's literally a track, a lane, there's no way. The trucks can get down there. So it looks like we're stopping here <laughs> for the sort of, sort of foreseeable future. Future. But so I think this day has become a bust. So I might as well wrap this video up <laughs> because it's nothing else has happened in the day by the looks of it. Looks like I'm just sat here and I'll get parked up soon enough. Like you see it, it's an accident, can't be helped. As long as everybody's alright, we'll get to where we need to be eventually. Oh, guy's got his car. Um yeah, so we'll wrap it up. We'll try and do another one tomorrow. See if we actually make some progress. I think I've only drove four and a half hours a day. But these things happen right well as normal as normal thanks for watching guys i know nothing much happened in this one today like but i thought it was going to be more of a packed day but anyway thanks for watching please like and subscribe to the channel and it makes like i say it makes it worthwhile doing otherwise i'm just rambling on to myself <laughs> so anyway thanks a lot guys See you next one. Cheers.